Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the teleportation effect. So first of all we need a static clip of our moving person like this. And it's really important that your camera is steady and static like in this shot. So you can see the background is not moving. But at the same time it's really important that your person is moving like in this clip so we can teleport your person. Alright so in my case I just will use this clip right here. And as you can see the background is really steady and the person is moving. And now I want to create the teleport effect for Lil Tekka so he can teleport from this position to this position. Alright so this will be our start frame for the teleportation effect. And I go one frame to the right and I cut the clip. Then I go to the end frame of our teleportation effect. So this should be this frame. And again I cut the clip. Now I delete the middle part because I don't need it. And I select both clips by pressing the left mouse button and I press Alt and S at the same time to duplicate our clips. After that I select the right upper clip and I press right click. I go to change clip speed and I hit the freeze frame box and I press change. Okay so now I just go one frame to the left from our transition point. So this is our transition point. I go one frame to the left. And I press right click on the left upper clip. Again I go to change clip speed and I hit the freeze frame box. Then I delete the left part of it. Okay so now you've got these two still frames and now we need to cut out our person. So you can do this in fusion and you can use a polygon mask and then you can try out to mask out your person. But I'm lazy so I just go with my clip selected into the color page. I press right click onto my image and I select grab still. So now in your gallery there should be a new picture. Then I press right click and I hit export and I export my image. After you've done that go to this website. It's linked in the description below and import your image. So now the AI has removed your background and now you can download your person. But if you are not lazy or if there are many humans in the picture like in this then I recommend to go into fusion and to use the polygon mask. So now I have masked out my person and I increase the soft edge a little bit and then I go back into the edit page and I import still frame number one we've got from the online website. So now we've got our video 1, our still frame 1, our still frame 2 and our video 2. Okay so now trim down your upper two still frames to a length of two frames each. So this is frame 1, this is frame 2 and I cut my upper still frame and I delete the left part. And I do the same for the right upper clip. So I go to frame 1, frame 2, I cut the clip and I delete the right part of it. So now it should look like this. Now drag your still frames to the right so that the left frame is matching the transition point. Alright and now go with your upper first clip into fusion. Make sure you add the first frame of your clip and add a transform node into your node field. Then I go into the inspector of the transform node and I create a keyframe at the center x and center y values as well as the size value. After that I go to settings and I click once onto the motion blur box and I increase the quality to about 7 or 8. Then I go back to controls and I go back into the edit page. And now it's really important that you change the position and the size of your first still frame so that it matches the position and the size of the second frame. So for my example I need to change the position from our first still frame to the right and I need to shrink down the person. So I go back into fusion, then I go one frame to the right and I change the position as well as the size a little bit. And then I go back into the edit page and I will see, okay, this looks much more better. Yeah, I think this will work. So again, I go back into the fusion page and I go to the second frame by pressing the right arrow button. And then I create two keyframes at the center X and center Y values and at the size. And then I go one frame to the left and I unselect these two keyframes. Okay so now I go back into the edit page and it will look like this. So now we do the same with the second clip. We go again into the fusion page 
Then we add a transform node into the node field. We go to settings, check the motion blur box and increase the quality. Go back to controls and go to your second frame by pressing the right arrow button. So you should see nothing right here and create a keyframe at the center X and center Y values and at the size value. Then go to your first frame. In my case, it's frame zero. And again, we need to change the position as well as the size of our subject so that it fits the first still frame. So in my case, the position of my person should be much more on the left and the person should be much more bigger. So I go into fusion and I change the person's size and the position. And again, I go back into the edit page and check if it's looking good. So I think it's not looking good because the gap is too big, as you can see right here. So I will adjust the second clip a little bit. All right, so now it looks like this. And now I just take the second video clip and I drag it to the right. And I increase the length till the first video clip. So now it looks like this. So it doesn't look really perfect. And now I want to change it. So we see that here's enough motion blur, but here is not enough motion blur. So we need to increase the motion blur on this second clip. So I select my second clip and I go into fusion and I press shift and space by the same time and search for directional blur. Select directional blur and press add. And then I increase the length a little bit to about 0.05. And I change the angle so that it fits our animation and our movement. And now it looks like this. All right, so in the end, it doesn't look as smooth as I wanted. So I just go one frame to the right and I increase the second still frame. And now it looks like this. So if you want, you can always change your clip to your liking. So again, I change it to four frames and now it will look like this. Okay, so now the main teleportation effect works. And now I just want to add a little bit more impact. So for this, I go to effects. Again, I go to effects and I drag and drop an adjustment clip into the timeline and I place the adjustment clip right after my second still frame and I go into fusion. So I just want to add a little shake effect. So I use the transform node and I'm at frame zero of my adjustment clip. So I create a keyframe at the center X and center Y values. And it's really important that you are at the first frame of your adjustment clip. So I create a keyframe at the center X and center Y values. Also, I go to settings, I check the motion blur box and I increase the quality. Then I go back to controls and I add a keyframe at the size value. After that, I go one frame to the right and increase the size a little bit. And I change the center X and center Y values to my liking. Then again, I go one frame to the right. I change the center X and center Y values a little bit. And again, I go one frame to the right and I change the size to one and the center X and center Y values to 0.5. All right, so now it looks like this, like a little shake effect. Again, press shift and space by the same time and search for blur. Select blur and press add. Then go to your first frame, decrease your blur size to zero and create a keyframe. Go one frame to the right and increase the blur size to your liking. And again, go two frames to the right, create a keyframe at the blur size and go one frame to the right and decrease the blur size to zero. So now it looks like this. Okay, so now go back into the edit page and check if it's looking good. And yeah, this looks smooth, I guess. Also, I downloaded some fire particles from aejuice.com, first link in the description. And I changed the composite mode from normal to edge. And of course, I changed the zoom as well as the position of my particles. So now it looks like this and I cut the clip at the end and now it looks like this. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos to learn more about DaVinci Resolve and check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions for free. All right, so thanks for your attention. Stay creative and bye.